All right, tonight I've got a scent I've wanted to try for a long, long time, and I just have it. Um, but the designer passed away over the weekend here, so I thought I'd give it a shot. It's Lo Dise Poram by Issei Miyake, Japanese fashion designer. I uh, just passed away, age 84. Liver cancer, very sad, but 84 years. Good for him. I, I'm not making it that long. <laughs> We're going to give it a shot. It's supposed to be like an aquatic woody scent. Um, I think the idea was it's an eau de toilette you could wear every day, any occasion. It sounds good to me. So, let's crack her open here. And the thing is, the thing that always caught my eye was the bottle. It's a fun shape, right? So it's got this frosted glass and then this, like, wedge shape to it. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. So, let's crack her open, give it a shot here. I don't know, I think that's fun. I think that's really fun. Half the thing with fragrances is the packaging. It's an experience. You're picking that up every day. You want something that's unique and cool, and yeah, this does it. Um, let's spray it. Interesting. Okay, there it is. At first, I was just smelling flowers. And then looking at the notes for this, it's a ton of fruits on top, a ton of flowers in the middle, and then woody, grassy stuff on the base. But it was described as having a strong opening with yuzu, um, yuzu fruit. I didn't smell that at first, now I definitely smell it. I'm hoping that lasts. That's really fresh, that's really refreshing. Actually, it reminds me of this yuzu seltzer I had. I could go for one of those, <laughs> but I can't buy it here. That's tasty. Yuzu's tasty. Yeah, this smells good. It's it's not offensive. It's very fresh. But that woodiness in the base gives it some complexity. So it doesn't just smell like you're wearing fruits and flowers. <laughs> yeah, that is really nice. I like that a lot. I can see anyone wearing that. Um, this one didn't break the bank either. I don't remember what it cost. It really wasn't expensive. I feel like... I don't know, 50 bucks, 40 bucks, no, nothing crazy. I'm gonna wear that this week. Um, stay tuned, if I've got any strong thoughts on it, I'll, I'll let you know. See if this becomes one of my summer scents for the rest of, rest of the season here. We're finally dipping out of the 90 degree weather. <laughs> We're up into the upper 80s. So hopefully that keeps going down here. This is good, I like it. I'm just wondering how much that fruitiness is gonna die off, and that's that could change my opinion a little bit. So we'll try that out. I'll let you know more about it. But that's my first thoughts on Lo Dise Poram, Ise Miyake. Fun fact I learned tonight looking him up. Uh, I'm sure I'd heard it in the past, but he designed the black turtleneck that Steve Jobs used to wear, like exclusively. He would only wear that shirt pretty much, right? That was Issei Miyake. Fun stuff. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Style. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more fragrance reviews, skincare, body products, shampoos, things like that. I might go work out and film a shampoo video. I've been putting it off for months. We'll see. I said ages ago that I was going to do the ordinary shampoo and conditioner. And I actually got in the shower, rigged the camera up, and I was starting to film it the other day. Finally. And you know what I realized? I didn't have the shampoo and the conditioner. I had ordered two bottles of the conditioner. So I hold them up to the camera and then I take a look. I'm like, wait a second. So we're scrapping that one. But we're not scrapping this one. So again, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, please leave me a comment. Hit that like button if you liked the video. It means a lot to me. Y'all take care.